So today, my task is to paint some wood. Not that hard. Not a big deal. Just annoying. Uh, don't have a chair, so I'm gonna grab a stool. Maybe there's a work... There might be a work stool over there. Um, and then... I'm painting in here. I'm painting the shelves. Um, I got like the big pieces, and then I got like the braces. Yeah, that we're gonna put up in you know that cubby in my office which it's pretty barren right now still don't know when the electricians are coming update for this week still have no clue which is really obnoxious i also didn't realize how much wood there was to paint i was not told so that's cool i guess let's get to it ah. well covered in a little bit of paint but here's where i'm at I was able to do the six small braces and one large brace uh, right now, immediately right off the bat. And I'm gonna, I left some thumb spots for me to touch it so I could hold it. Um, I got all the sides except for those spot in the top, so I just need to flip it over to the bottom. And then these, I did everything except for the ends right here and then the other side. So that shouldn't be too bad. I will have to do two coats on on these because they look pretty bad. Ah, this camera's not really gonna pick it up, but there's just some like bad lines in it and there's like black streaks happening. I don't know if it's from the paintbrush or hitting the black that was on here before when I'm going along the sides and top and stuff, but it looks kind of weird. But I've got two more long braces to do and then I've got four of the whole shelves to do. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do these on this small of a table. So maybe I'll cut some of this cardboard out and lay it down on the floor and paint. But for now, it's 6.48 p.m. and I have not eaten dinner. Um, so I'm gonna order some pizza, I think, or go get some pizza or something, um, just so I eat before I stream tonight because Brooke and I are gonna play some Apex. Um, I don't know what else I'm gonna do of this painting tonight. Maybe I'll do another coat before I leave. Um, but there's not that big of a rush for me to get it done because it's not going up tomorrow. So I might just wait and not do all of it tonight. Do it over a few days instead because I really don't want to spend all my time here. <laughs> and I uh, have shit to do the rest of the night. So, yeah. Howdy. Hey. I don't know if I talked about this yet in the vlog, but uh, today was Thursday, right? Uh, I'm about to eat and then stream. But I want to talk about what this morning entailed. Um, I'll just show you one part. Does anything look weird to you about this floor? Hmm. Does that cement look a little wet? Maybe? Like some tiles are maybe cut and missing? Okay, so here's what happened, right? Uh, I'm going to leave the echo chamber. So we had the inspector come because someone was going to buy the house. And um, the inspector came and found a lot of issues that we either didn't know about or her. Some that were just wrong. We'll get to that in a second. And just, just a lot of stuff. So one of the problems was there might be mold in the attic. We had a guy come this morning. First guy to come like 9 a.m. Uh, there was growth. He's not legally allowed to say mold because you need an ecologist or something like that. Um, but they can remove that. Not a big deal. Cool. Part two was uh, there was people to come check the roof. Uh, they came out, looked at the roof, because they said the inspector said there was warping. They're like, yeah, there's a little bit of warping. Might have to replace this thing. You want to talk to the owner. It's only been 10 years since we got the roof replaced. Mom was like, yes, absolutely. I haven't heard from them yet. So that's two. The third one is the pipe. So uh, I, I don't think I've mentioned the inspector lost his camera in the pipe. Well, they made a plumber come out. Plumber lost his camera on the pipe. $5,000 camera for going inside pipes. Um, problem with that. So the guy's like, well, I want my camera back, number one. Number two, we have to replace this pipe. Clearly, you've got a problem. Um, and there's a hole in it. And it just, it's leaking or something. It's cracked. They come in today. Um, I went over to the, the other house, the new house. Slept on a very, very uncomfortable bed. Because, um, again, my stuff's still here, as you can see. And uh, so I slept there, had an awful time, but they came here, they um, broke open the floor, they found this pipe, I'll show a picture of it, here's the floor, so it was draining, this pipe had cracked and was draining under the, 
the house. Um, so I've made there just like this mud and I assume shit combo under the floor. And then they took the pipe out. And as you can see, it is absolutely destroyed down the side. They replaced that bit. So that should probably be fine now. Sealed it up with some wet concrete. And here we are waiting for it to dry. We can move everything back in by Monday. Um, and it's Thursday right now. So I can't do laundry for the next few days. So I'll have to do it at the new house because I do actually need to do laundry very soon. I'm running out of underwear. Um, <laughs> pretty good, all things considered. My mom was expecting it to be a lot worse, and our luck is pretty bad with things like that, so we expected it to be a lot worse. So the last bit, uh, well, there's a couple things. Um, so the, the inspector is kind of a dipshit, I think, because um, first of all, he put a picture in the breakdown of what was wrong with his house, um, saying there's water spots on the ceiling in a corner, which was a picture of it, um, except that corner uh, simply does not exist in this house. Um, so it's like a ceiling, a corner, and a corner, two walls, right? And on the left wall, it's blue, like a bluish gray, and that turns into white part of the way down the wall. That literally does not exist in this house. I have no idea what that's about. So then, um, that was one. And there's also like some weird code things that I don't think are true. Like he said, there needs to be a smoke detector in every single room which I don't think that's code. Um, I've never heard that in my entire life because that's an insane amount of smoke detectors and battery waste. Uh, another one was we needed a railing on the stairs to the deck, except there isn't stairs, there is stair. Um, and because it's not three feet tall, you don't need a railing. It's code that you don't need a railing because it's not three feet tall. So I don't know what that's about either. Um, he also said the stairs weren't adequate going to the porch out front. It's just like any other porch. I don't know. And there's a couple little small weird things here and there. Like he said, the, the, um, we have a fireplace, like a, a electric, not electric, a gas fireplace. He said the fan didn't turn on. Um, the fan does turn on, but it has to get warm first. It doesn't just turn on immediately. So. I don't know. It actually turned out being okay. I was supposed to paint more of those things today. I didn't because I took so long to get to sleep and finally woke up and I'm finally about to eat. It's 9 p.m. Um, I'll be eating like 10 minutes, which would be nice. Uh, and then Brooke and I are going to play. I'm going to show her the pictures of the pipe. And then we're going to play some Apex tonight. They announced, uh, they showed us, they showed, they showed the patch notes for the next season of Apex. And it's another one of those times where I agree with all the patch notes. They look awesome. And I'm super excited to play next season. I'm super excited to play Ash. Uh, the patch notes are awesome. They buffed Watson a lot. They're probably going to have to pair her down again, I think. But they buffed Watson a lot. I'm excited to see how that plays. Um, they added a new hop-up for shotguns, specific, or specifically the Massive and the 3030. It's called, like, Dual Shell. And you when you load a, a shell in, you actually load two, um, which is nice. Uh, and there's just a lot of, like, cool quality of life stuff, some weapon changes, and it's looking really nice. So, yeah, all positive things, all positive things. All right, I'm gonna go put my pizza in, and, uh, uh how the rest of my night happened now. Pardon the setup, I wasn't gonna record this downstairs, and normally I record this at the table up here, except the table's up the new house. So then I was like, oh, next best thing, out in the living room. Well, the table's gone from out in the living room, and there's no light. <laughs> so we're now in my old room upstairs, one of my old rooms upstairs, with a tote. That's my table. Yep, guess what's finally here? In the saga that started a month ago, I think, more than that. In the saga that started a while ago. Wolf. Sorry I hit you. My replacement case from Carved is finally here. It took a long time. It took a very long time. So I've currently got my other case I really liked on. Um, now we've got this new one. So this is, it's called Millie, is the slab this is from. I'll let you see it first. Hopefully it looks good. Ooh. 
once again, darker than I thought. But I like that. God, I hope it fits. Okay. If this doesn't fit, ooh. So to remind people what happened with my last one as I go through these real quick. It didn't fit my phone correctly. The buttons didn't line up. And if I touched the side of my phone, the volume would go down by itself. And if I touched the top of the volume down button, my volume would go up. The buttons weren't correctly placed. Um, it was bad and the colors were also supposed to be red and blue and they were definitely pink and blue and it wasn't a fantastic experience then they sent me a kind of makeup normal case which is what i currently have on my phone which i love with a burning passion and i really 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 would like to love this live edge case which is made completely from wood and resin and I think it looks really good, actually. I like that. It's very smooth. It's not, doesn't have like weird imperfections like the last one. The last one had a really inconsistent finish on it. Um, it looked like it hadn't been uh, polished a, a last time or something. I'm gonna take my case off. Come on, get out. Okay, there we go. So I have a Sierra Blue uh, iPhone 13 Pro. And we're going to go ahead and throw this into the Live Edge case for the 13 Pro. All right, here's the test. I'm pressing the side of my phone and my volume isn't going down. Oh, that is nice. That is, that is a good change. I enjoy that. Oh, first of all, the back looks good with the Sierra Blue and the purple. Sorry, lighting is a little weird in here. Look at that. It's very solid. I like it. My only gripe that I'm going to have and going to continue to have these cases is that the volume, sorry, the power button on the side, the sleep wake button, is small, like the size of a volume button. And it should be longer because the power button on the iPhone has gotten longer over time, um, and these have not, which is a gripe of mine, but they have actually fixed the placement of the power button to be more in the center. You can tell because it doesn't actually match up with the black outline on the side as much. I like it. That looks really good. Well, the saga is over, and that is one of the most exciting things I've had happen in a while. Also, it does have built-in MagSafe as well, so I will have MagSafe as an option on this case, just like I did opt for on this one. So, heck yeah. So I'm over at the new house this morning, and uh, a couple things I wanted to vlog about for last week's vlog slash, well, the vlog you're watching, but so it's Monday, right? Yesterday was Halloween. A couple things I want to talk about. Uh, one, I watched... Uh, what movie is that? Fight Club the other night. I did a watch party for it uh, while I was streaming. It actually was pretty good. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. I expected it to be super overhyped and overblown. I still think it is a little bit, but uh, I won't have any spoilers for it. It's just, it was super good. The first third I thought was really interesting. The middle third was okay. And the final third, the third act was probably like just really good. Um, I won't say why, but I just, if you haven't seen Fight Club, it's from 1999, um, very popular movie, the 11th highest rated movie on IMDb, according to user reviews, and it was, it was good. I recommend you watch it, it's on Prime right now for free. Then, uh, yesterday was Halloween. What I did for Halloween was I dressed up like a Pokemon trainer. I'll put a picture up or a video up right now if I can. I dress up like a Pokemon trainer. It's most of my normal clothes. Nothing's really different. I had a Pokemon necklace I found. Um, I wore that. And I came over here with my mom to hand out candy. And um, But instead of handing out candy, well, she handed out candy, I handed out some Pokemon cards because I had a bunch, obviously I obviously have a bunch of duplicates of all of the... Um, Evolving Skies and Shining Fates that I've gotten. So I took some Shining Fates over and I was giving them out in piles of like five to ten cards. 
And I also organized all of my Shining Fates and put it in the binder and stuff. So I have all that sorted now, which is really nice. Uh, and it worked out that way. Uh, it, yeah, it was fun. We only had like 35 kids come to the door and ask for candy, which is sad because I, you know, I liked handing out the Pokemon cards. Every time I handed them out, either the kids would be like confused and walk away or they'd go, oh my God, Pokemon cards awesome and walk away with them and it was super cute and super fun but anyway i'm back here this morning um to paint more i remember i was painting those boards for the shelving and i've got to do a little more of that again today um, because i'm almost done i just need to do a second coat on the other side of the boards um and then they should be good to be put up hopefully I'm a little worried about them being flimsy, but I guess we'll see when I put stuff on it. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll get some breakfast this morning too. I'm going to try to convince my mom to get some donuts maybe. I don't know. Hi, this is a very raw vlog this week. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't feel like editing. So I felt like just making a chill one this week. So here we are. I'm not even turning my light on for this. It's all low frame rate. Like, look at that. It's just the way it is. That's the way we're doing it. That's the way we're rolling today. Anyway, week 126 totals. Actually, very, very surprisingly good. I did not expect this. 2,674 minutes, which is 44 hours and 34 minutes. So 44 and a half hours this week. Uh, I actually spent a lot of time, uh, a lot of time editing. That added a good bit of time. Plus a there's a good few days where I was over six hours um, during the streams. So that made up for a lot of time. I streamed every day. It was great. So um, obviously, if you, want to, if you want to check out the streams, twitch.tv slash HQ. It's always linked down below. Uh, you can also feel free to check out, well, this channel. Feel free to subscribe here. You can also check out my gaming channel if you would like. Uh, I upload content here every single week. I upload on my gaming channel kind of whenever. Follow all my social medias, link down below, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Also check out my Discord if you would like. Um, other than that, I don't really have much to say. Just thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Favorite the video if it was your favorite. Don't forget to share the video, subscribe for more. And I'll see you later. Take care. Oh.